basically split your life up into four areas, uh, four P's. Power is your body, passion, relationships, uh, purpose is your mind, and production is your business. And there's three goals uh, that we set together for each of those areas. How do you break down your goals into daily activities um, to be able to achieve those goals? So if you have these three goals or four goals in each of the areas of your life, what are the sub activities, I suppose, that you could do to achieve those goals? Yeah, so, you, so breaking down your goals is super important um, because a lot of your goals, you should have long-term and short-term goals, but ultimately the whole goal is for those short-term goals to lead to the long-term goal. And so as you break it down, like just the easiest examples with business and the business that we're in and insurance is extremely easy to do this. Uh, but the reality is every um, goal can be broken down um, using this kind of frame of reference. So, you know, with life insurance, let's just take a life insurance agent, you know, for them to have a long-term goal this year, a one-year goal of, I want to make 200 grand. Great. So how many policies based on your average policy size are you gonna have to sell to make 200 grand? I'm gonna have to sell X hundred, X hundred policies. Okay, great. So based on your conversion ratio, how many people are you gonna have to get in front of in order to sell that many policies? So if your conversion, just for easy numbers, is 50%, that means to sell 600 policies, you're gonna sit in front of 1,200 people. So now, break it down even further, once you figure out how many people you call on the phone, you know, how many people does it take on the phone to get you in front of 1,200 people? And you start just working, you know, reverse engineering backwards through that um, equation, and then you start realizing, okay, these are the things that I have to do every week to see this many people per week, to some of this many policies per week, to at the end of the year, make that much money. And you can break it down to every single day so that you know exactly what you're supposed to do. And so whatever that looks like for the person that's listening or watching this, um, maybe it's not a yearly goal, maybe it's a yearly production goal, maybe it's you know a goal in your relationship, maybe it's a goal to you know lose 50 pounds. Well, great, if you're gonna lose 50 pounds about how much time does it take to lose a pound? And then reverse that you know into your months and weeks and days the key here is that you have the ability at the end of the day to look back and say i did what i was supposed to do or i didn't that's the important thing and being able to adjust accordingly so if monday night you look back on the day you're like i was supposed to do 10 of x and you only did eight well then you know tomorrow if you're supposed to do 10 then you need to do 12 to make up for you what you didn't do today and then the same side of that, to create that balance in your life, looking at, okay, today I was supposed to do 10, I did 15. Like I blew it out today. Tomorrow, I really only have to do five to stay where I need to be. So what could I do in my personal life? What could I do you know, for my body and self-development since I only have this much of that to do for my business the next day? Um, that's ultimately how you're going to be able to create that balance. But unless you knew that's what I have to do every day, you wouldn't know if you were ahead or behind. You'd just be working. I think the majority of people these days are just, they show up, they do some work, and then at the end of the day, they're sitting back going, well, I don't really know how much closer I am or further away from my goal I am. So I guess tomorrow I'm just gonna go work. And then they do it again the next day. And this just becomes literally like the rest of your entire life. It's just, I show up, I do work, and I leave. And that's a problem. And so being able to break down those goals from long term to short term and then literally into those daily tasks is critical to actually achieve. Because if you don't, you just get towards the end of the year and you're like, crap, I got to make up for all this or crap, I'm way ahead of where I need to be. And having not systematized it out, um, you can prepare for that stuff. You see a lot of people like at the end of the year that they've like already maxed out their quota and they're just like stuck or at the end of the year they're so far from their goal that now there's no chance because they waited too long to really dig into the numbers so the key is knowing knowing your numbers and knowing how to break them down um, sitting down with your employer your sales manager a, a mentor or leader on your team and seeing how they do it like how do you break your numbers down how do you you know break down what you do on a daily basis you know, if you've got multiple people that are leaders in your organization, reaching out to all of them and seeing what way you know, makes the most sense for you. Um, 
but to do that, you have to kind of get rid of your ego a little bit and be willing to ask somebody for help. There's nothing wrong with that, asking somebody for help, especially when it comes to helping you become more efficient and accomplishing your goals. Um, very rarely are you gonna have a, a leader in your organization tell you no, I'm not gonna sit down and help you with that um, because it's critically important to your success.